this one was we expected one of them. This one was a little interesting because you had kind of said they were looking at doing something like this, which mm-hmm. Disney Jollywood Nights are coming to Hollywood Studios this holiday season. Yes, this is a new separately ticketed event that will be lasting from 8.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. on 10 select nights. Um, and this in November and December. The style is very old Hollywood and is geared more toward adults and older kids, not as much toward the little ones. And they kind of alluded to that in some of the presentation materials. Um, what they have, they have, will have a uh, D- DJ spinning a mix of holiday tunes. Commissary Lane comes to life with a lively Latin street fair. Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy will be special guests live at Theater of the Stars, along with some of their Disney friends, including Tiana and Belle, who actually sings sings a song from the Enchanted Christmas movie that they have. Um, What's This? A Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along at Hyperion Theater, hosted by Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie. They will be there live. The Hollywood Brown Derby will transform into a piano bar with a speakeasy style party. See, that's pretty That's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Uh, Tip Top Club will come to life at the Hollywood Tower Hotel Courtyard with a 1920s ghostly band, cocktails, and food. Uh, Jingle, ba- Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam, Nighttime Spectacular returns. Uh, I think 2019 was the last time we saw it. It was before COVID. Yes. I know that. Uh, there'll be special magic shots and photo pass experiences with Mickey and friends and their new holiday Hollywood gear, Powerline Max, Edna Mode, Phineas and Ferb will also be there. Um, Frozone, I think as well. Most of the rides will be open, including Rise of the Resistance that will re- utilize a virtual queue. There'll be special drinks and treats. There's nothing free included. Um, everything does have a charge with it. So there, it's not like the ho- the Christmas party with cookies and hot chocolate or the after hours where you had the drinks and like right this is snacks. not yeah this is not like a typical after hours thing no um and since guests have select all disney world resort hotels the swan and dolphin shades of green can buy tickets starting june 29th tickets for everyone else may be purchased july 6th and the ticket prices range from 159 dollars to 179 dollars per person and the party dates are november 11th 18th 20th 27th and 29th and December 4th, 6th, 16, 18, and 20. Okay. Uh, first, uh, the first thing I will say, I'll get your thoughts on this. Okay. I love this idea. I mm-hmm. like, uh, we've talked about many times, I love the 1920s, 30s feel of a lot of like the uh, Beverly Hills Boulevard there of, Ho- of Hollywood Studios mm-hmm. or Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think a lot of this sounds really cool. Now it is, that price is pretty high, especially considering most after hours events, which is, is very similar to includes, you know, sodas and you know you don't get like alcohol included, but you get some drinks and snacks included. But with that said, I like the idea of this because you got the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Mm -hmm. which is very you know family and kids and then this is something that the you know the adults can go do over here i think it sounds really cool honestly looking into this more a lot of this like the speakeasy the i would imagine the holiday tunes would include like frank sinatra style of music like like christmas songs Mm -hmm. uh yeah it sounds really cool so i when i first saw this i was so excited because Old Hollywood. I'm I'm a huge fan of Old Hollywood, mm-hmm. and I've talked I've talked about this with you before. I don't know if I've mentioned it on the podcast, but it's, it's, it's came up. A yes, few times. Hollywood Studios. You know, has has quickly crawling back to be my my favorite park. Um, it was for a long time when I was a kid. Then it kind of fell off because you know and it went through a little bit of a little bit of change there. But it's it's becoming my favorite park again. Um, but I'm very excited about this. So excited that I have decided that I will be going to the first night. November 11th. Well, it also happens to fall within our Club 32 meetup or our November meetup. So we have a November yeah. meetup and a January meetup. Uh, so it falls on that weekend of the meetup. So it worked out really, it was almost serendipitous the way that worked out. I know. And there's at least a dozen other people from the meetup that are coming too. So it'll be yeah. it'll be a, a fun little group to go do this with. Um, I'm most excited for the Tip Top Club at the Tower of Terror. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited for like the lounge piano bar thing. I think that'll be cool. Um, the Muppet thing, the Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy thing. I think that'll be cute. 
I'm not a huge big fan of Muppets, but I'm excited to see this. I'm just all this entertainment. They have a lot of entertainment opportunities here. And I think that that's why the price is higher because yeah. there's a lot of live things like, you know, like the sing along and then the, the Muppet show and then the band and then the club and you've got the fire or the jingle ball, jingle bam. So I think there's a lot to offer with this as well. I agree. Although I do think at that price point where you're starting to creep, close to $200 per person, I mean, you could throw in some sodas. It doesn't really cost them much. <laughs> I mean, if we're being quite honest, I mean, it would just be one of those things where it's like, you know, it's a perceived value more than anything. But I mean, we're still five months away, you know, from they, this. So they could. they could make some changes. We don't they know. They could. I mean, it does sound really cool. I mean, I'm bummed because, I mean, you're going to get tickets to go. I would like to go, but I don't know how that's going to work with your mom may be able to watch the kids that weekend. So mm-hmm. more than likely, only one of us can go to this. So... Uh, either way, one of us will go and talk about the show and then vlog it. I'm sure. Oh yeah, I but, will. I'll take a camera. Yeah, but it does sound really cool. Mm-hmm. I would. I. I am the same with you. I like the old Hollywood feel. In yeah. fact, I really wish a lot of these aspects. And I've said this before on uh, other episodes. I really wish Disney would make a an old Hollywood themed hotel. I think it would work. Oh yeah, great. Like you take a, almost like the uh, Tower of Terror, you know, theming kind of of it. Mm-hmm. And you have like a speakeasy, but not make it scary, right? Don't make it scary. Just make it like an old hotel, <laughs> right? I think that'd be great. Like I think that would be really yeah. cool. But I think this is a really, really neat idea, and I think yeah. there's a lot of people that are very excited. So all of this is saying it's it looks like it's going to be something that will sell out, especially since there's only ten dates, and you don't know how many people they're going to. Like we have no idea what the capacity for the party is. Right. So yeah. I mean, they're not. Are they selling it? I, I haven't seen. Are they selling it like an after hours type thing? No, they're selling it yeah. like it's a Christmas party Cause, thing. Yeah, because I'm wondering. I mean, if given that it's not quote unquote an after hours, because after hour events are all basically the selling point is it, there's not many people in the park, and it's almost like you have the park to yourself. I don't think they're selling yeah. it this way. So I think there may be more people, especially given all, yeah all the entertainment being offered, because yeah. that'll spread people around. And they're probably assuming most people aren't going to be riding rides. I mean, I I wouldn't think so. so I, I don't think I'd spend that much money for only four hours. Right. To, and, just, to just do the rides. Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Well, and, that, people will. and things like they do this because it makes you kind of ch- pick and choose what you want to do. It's like at a, mm-hmm. we talk about many times, at the which we'll talk about in a moment, the Christmas parties. You have to have a plan going in because you can't do everything. Right. You don't have enough time. So. I, do, I don't imagine this being an after hours event in that there's very, very select few people. Now, I'm sure this will sell out, but yeah. I'm, I'm imagining there'll be a pretty decent sized crowd they'll let in. I'm guessing it'll be. Now, it won't be the size of crowd at Mickey's Merry Merry Christmas party because it no. doesn't have the capacity. Right, this, that right. park doesn't. Um, but it'll feel it'll feel busier than I after think hours. it'll feel a lot like I agree. I, I just I think a lot of people yeah. were seeing this thinking, oh, like an after hours thing. And I don't think it's, I mean, obviously the hours of it maybe seem like that, but I don't think yeah. it's going to be in terms of the crowd level thing. But either way, I yeah. think it sounds really cool. I'm very excited to see what it's like. And and if you want to do it, get on June 29th and buy your tickets. Because again, I think, I really do think they'll sell out. Yes. So. They will indeed. Yep. So. Well,